Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dumb Old Dad, and I am a Bitcoin miner. I started in November of 2017, so I am brand new, but I'm learning and I'm trying things out to see what works and what doesn't work. So uh, if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe. And if you want to try some of this out and play along with me, please use one of the links that's in my description to uh, connect to one of the sites that I use. That way um, I get a benefit and you get a benefit for signing up. So thank you for watching this video and enjoy the next piece. Hello again, this is Dumb Old Dad coming, you from, coming to you from my new studio inside my car. It's quieter and the dog doesn't bug me. So I want to talk to you about cryptocurrencies and the few things that I wanted to talk about today was what makes Bitcoin or bit or cryptocurrencies unique. So um, it may not be a very long video, but here are the unique pieces about this Bitcoin or bit or uh, cryptocurrencies or digital currencies. Number one, well, I won't even number them. The first thing is that they uh, the cryptocurrencies or let's just say Bitcoin as a general example. Bitcoin is not owned by a company. It's not owned by a government. It's not regulated by banks. It's not regulated by any government. It is person to person transactions. So one person sending another person uh, the, a currency. So it doesn't have to go through a bank. It doesn't have to go through a checking account. It doesn't go through a savings account. It doesn't go through any Federal Reserve. It doesn't go through any banking system. I can send money directly to a person on the other side of the world or next door if I want to. So um, banks are really scared of it because they have no control over it. Governments are scared of it because they have no control over it. It is a person-to-person -person banking system. So the computers of each person manages the coins and manages the transactions. So it can't ever be uh, managed by a government. There's no way a government can control it because it's person-to-person. -person. There's no way a company can tr control it because it's person-to-person. -person. It's not a company doing it. And the banks are scared of it because they they can't charge for it. If we send a transaction to somebody across the world, there's no fee across there. It's a transaction from person to person. It doesn't go to a bank and then get converted into euros and then get converted back and then they put a tax on it and then they put on all their banking fees and the transaction fees, all that stuff goes away. It is person to person transactions. So that is why it's scaring people to death. So can you imagine if the banking system no longer manages your money. You manage your own money in your own wallet and you send money to whoever you want to anywhere in the world and it can't be tracked by anybody. The banks aren't tracking it. The governments aren't tracking it. There isn't anybody tracking it. It's only person to person. So that is the really interesting and unique part about why Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are getting to be very popular. Because, for example, if I take, um, say, 50,000 Bitcoin and I buy a boat, the boat manufacturer receives the Bitcoin, I pay them in Bitcoin, but it doesn't get converted into dollars. So is there taxes on it? I don't know. I don't know if there's any taxes. Because it's not in dollars. It's not in a bank. It can't be tracked. So that money just goes back and forth without a government managing it, without any banking system managing it in any companies. So I don't know, it really could take over as a currency worldwide. And it's nice because it doesn't matter about what the yen is or what the euro is or what the peso is or the dollar. Those are all, you know, hard currencies. This is a digital currency and it's worldwide. Everybody has the same, uh, uh, chance and opportunity to send and receive that um, that currency. So anyway, I thought I would just go through that with you. That's why banks are scared of it. That's why governments are scared of it because it's point to point, person to person, and it doesn't go um, into anybody. No one can manage it. So that's why everybody's scared of it. So thanks for watching. Bye.
Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dumb Old Dad, and I am a Bitcoin miner. I started in November of 2017, so I am brand new, but I'm learning and I'm trying things out to see what works and what doesn't work. So uh, if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe. And if you want to try some of this out and play along with me, please use one of the links that's in my description to uh, connect to one of the sites that I use. That way um, I get a benefit and you get a benefit for signing up. So thank you for watching this video and enjoy the next piece.